Well, no one exactly remembers how Tupac Shakur ended up auditioning at Baltimore School for the Arts. His performance that day was unforgettable. Faculty members were already talking about him, and then, of course, I didn't meet him until the following September. As a new school year started, Donald Hicken saw for himself just how talented Tupac was. Rap was a relatively new phenomenon, and uh, the kids were writing these raps at night and then bringing them in and sharing them. Uh, this was in the day days before social networking, so they couldn't share them any other way. So in homeroom in the morning, they'd sit in a circle on the floor and, you know, take turns reading or reciting or performing, if you will, what they had written the night before. And he was very involved in that. Becky Mossing was in that class. This was homeroom. It was the most amazing thing. Memories of a friend that often come to mind when Mossing is alone here in the ballroom. I think about who he was when we were here together, the kind of kid he was. For three years, Tupac walked these streets to attend school here. And for friends and former teachers, many say it was his time spent here in Baltimore that actually shaped him as an artist. The environment, I think, really nurtured him artistically on a lot of different levels. Tupac was also an extraordinary actor. I had great plan plans for him for his senior year, and he was heartbroken about it. He didn't want to go. In fact, he, he teared up a little bit when he came into my office to tell me that he was leaving. Even though yeah, teachers had secured a host family time. for Tupac to it's live with his so senior long. year, the team decided to stay with his own family and move to California. He was trying so hard to maintain the relationships with the people that he knew, loved, and cared about him. People who knew Tupac before he sold millions of albums. In downtown Baltimore, Joy LaPolda, Fox 45 News at 5.